Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a 2023 XLR Hyperlite 3016 toy hauler trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside. So stepping on up into your new 2023 XLR Hyperlite here. Let's start back here in the rear section. So we have the electric bed system back here. So basically it's in dinette mode right now. There are two little removable tables that you can set up in here or leave them out. This will make into a bed on the lower part. And then you also have an upper bunk that will come down as well. So you can kind of control what's going on back here. You have a little screen back here. On back to the back section here. There's a gate in the middle. So if you wanted to get aftermarket a set of steps to go off the back, you could do so. Couple docking lights up top, and it's also pre-wired for that Furion observation camera as well. The first portion of your floor is kind of angled down, got like a rubber diamond plate mat to it, and then it goes on up into the linoleum flat floor section. You have two swivel chairs here, electric fireplace, TV, gas electric refrigerator. They do kind of a two-tone cabinet in here, so you're going to have some white cabinets and some kind of a blonde cabinet color. Little sofa over there on the slide does have roller wheels on it, so it's easy to roll in and out with the slide out. That will also make into a small bed as well. Some overhead cabinet space. The unit has ducted AC. Solid surface kitchen countertops. High rise sprayer faucet. Furion oven. Furion microwave as well. Quite a few D-rings in the floor, so you should have plenty of room to tie down a toy or two. Now over here you have your bathroom area. There's a large turbo exhaust fan in here, skylight up above, glassed in shower. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Up into your master bedroom area here. You got hanging closet on each side, little shelf space up above. You have the window overlooking the front part of the RV. There's a pull down roller shade on that. USB charger ports and electric outlet on the right, and then you have an electric outlet on the left side here as well. The bed will raise up, giving you a little bit of storage in here. Heat and AC both in the bedroom area, ducted. You have an entry exit door going in and out. And then up top right there, it is also pre-wired for that uh, 4G Wi-Fi stuff. And basically it's Air 360 antenna on our 360 plus antenna. So you can buy a connector gateway and subscribe to say Verizon or AT&T's Wi-Fi setup. Up above the door frame there is some wiring for cable and electric outlet. So if you wanted to mount a TV up here, you could. There's a central vac also in the bathroom in there. 
But overall, pretty cool roomy setup here for a toy hauler trailer. Now, there is some controls and stuff over here next to your refrigerator area. So like this one has solar panel on it, so you got a 30 amp solar charge controller, uh, your digital thermostat for your AC and furnace, then you have some things like 12 volt heat tanks, water pump, water heater buttons, light switches, slide buttons, awning buttons. This unit also has a generator you'll see when we get outside, so we have an hour meter here, bed up and down button. Another cool feature for 2023, you have a camera in here. That will allow you to see what's going on with your toy back here when you're driving down the road. So that's a pretty cool feature. You guys have some expensive toys sometimes, and it's nice to be able to know what's happening back here. Uh, also above the fireplace here is the JBL stereo. And then just down below there is the dustpan vac for that central vac. Let's step outside here real quick, kind of show you around some outside parts of this. So start up here in the front side here. You have obviously your bedroom entry door here and it has a triple entrance step, has the aluminum tread plate set up with it. Storage compartment here. In this storage compartment here, you have battery disconnect, front cap lights. Uh, this customer is going with a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch system. Nice aftermarket hitch system to go with. Talk with your salesperson about that. They'd be glad to go over some of those type of things with you. Helps with sway and load weight distributing. This one was also ordered with the manual stabilizer jacks. So you have two in the front and then two in the back. You'll see when we get back there. Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, has manual override and adjustable arms. Refrigerator access panel, furnace exhaust, outdoor TV hookups here as well. Now, another nice bonus feature on the XLR product is it comes with a tire pressure monitoring system. Nice built in to the valve stems and everything. And it comes with a little screen that you can take and put into your truck with you and see what's going on with your tires while you're driving down the road. Another nice feature that they're doing is the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension system in the middle here. That's basically kind of like shock absorber for the axle system when it's going down the road. Couple outdoor speakers up top here. Deep tent safety glass windows. The main entry door here does have a window in it that's thin shade ready. It's an aftermarket shade you can buy to go in there. Again, triple entrance step in the back. There is a little light under there as well. Large folding entry handle here. On around to the back side here get a little better view of this again pre-wired for an observation camera definitely recommend that it's pre-wired for the furion brand uh, talk with your salesperson about that but they're really nice observation cameras that will allow you to see what's going on behind the rv when you're driving down the road and also backing into your campsite On around to this side right here, you have the fuel station area. Basically, there's a fuel pump inside there that you can fill up your gas tank on your toy. There is a dump hose holder down there, just right behind the axles, fresh water tank drain underneath of there as well. The fuel tank here also will work your generator fuel. Another docking light up there. And here you have hot and cold outside utility shower spray port set up here. So there's a little blue hose that comes with it. You hook it up right there. That'll allow you to wrench your toy off or do whatever you might need to do. Hosing things off out here. Come back from the beach or something, wash the sand off of you. 
Hookups down here, you have city water, fresh water, and black tank flush, hot and cold, low point water drains, six gallon gas electric water heater, cable satellite inlets, and 50 amp electric service. This one was ordered with two ACs on it. And you have to have 50 amp when you do the two ACs on these things. Power cord here is probably 25 or 30 feet long. This generator is actually pretty cool. It's not the traditional Onan generator that you see in most RVs. Um, this brand here, it's actually a Yamaha motor um, that uh, they put into a private label brand. Really nice setup, but it has a pull start has an electronic start and it also has a keychain remote as well so that's pretty cool being able to pull start your generator in case your battery's dead because that does happen sometimes you need to fire this thing up charge up the battery or something if it's sitting in a storage lot or maybe you just leave everything on and it's a gloomy day and the solar tends to run down if the sun's not charging up the battery system or something but if you're plugged into electric no big deal Fiberglass front cap here, again, has that windshield in the front, some LED lights right there. Lower part is a diamond plate metal. Some very important informational stickers right here. We're gonna pop these up for you. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This has production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly on this sticker, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker here, basically telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And then the next sticker is the cargo carrying capacity sticker, which tells you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed the gross weight on the first sticker. And last but not least, tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Very important again, check your tire pressure. You got that tire pressure monitoring system that comes with this thing, so make sure you use it. Two and five sixteen titch ball, heavy duty safety chains, power tongue jack with the light built in. You have two 20 pound propane tanks. Room behind there for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the battery that you go with. Seven way Bargman wiring plug. The unit has four wheel drum brakes. So make sure you have a electronic brake control in your tow vehicle to control the brakes of the RV. That's very, very important. All right, let's walk back inside here and I want to show you what it looks like closed up here. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money. Now, when you are ready to close it up, make sure you close that door, very important. Make sure there is nothing in the way. Floor needs to be clean, no rocks, pebbles, twigs, kids' toys, whatever. You're gonna come back here to your monitor panel here, and you got your slide button. And all you're gonna do is hit the button to bring it in or take it out. Make sure I hit the button to go the right direction. And you can see here, it just rolls straight in and straight out. Now when we get it closed up, we'll step back here so you can kind of see what it looks like a little better. But when it's closed up, if you're traveling down the road, you depending on how big of a toy you have in here, uh, you could still come in here, walk through the RV hopefully, get up into your refrigerator, get up into your kitchen area, and if you really had to, you could go through your bathroom to get into the bedroom. But remember, you also have your bedroom door up there that you can just walk right into the bedroom and bathroom also. So kind of depending on how big your toy might be, you may or may not have room to walk through here. And then you can put these couches up out of the way, down against the wall or something. When you power them up, again, giving you more room back here.
but overall pretty nice little toy hauler setup here thanks again for taking the time to watch my rv videos guys really do appreciate it be sure to check out the folks at couches rv nation